in this clip, we're going to cover how to format your one-pager document. After creating your first chart, it probably won't be exactly what you want. But fear not, just about everything you see here can be modified to meet your needs. The time axis, the legend, the swim lanes and the text columns you see here on the left, the shape, color, and fill of the bars, all the decorations you see, like the yellow progress bars and baseline markers, the background color of the chart, the headers and footers, and all the fonts for the different elements can be customized to suit your situation. There are two ways to format your one pager, with your mouse or using automation. Once one pager has generated your initial visual, you should fight the urge to manipulate things with your mouse, even though you can. Instead, the best way is to leverage the automation in one pager, which can be accessed here in this button that has some gears on it in the home tab of the ribbon. This is the Project View Properties, or PVP, as we call it. When you push that button, it will open a tabbed form. Each tab in this form has a logical grouping of settings that was originally populated by the template we selected in the One Pager Choices form just prior to clicking the Create New Project View button. Technically speaking, that is what the template does. It pre-populates all of the settings into all of these tabs, which is now driving the look and feel of the One Pager visual underneath. These settings are now something we can modify to get One Pager to do what we want. Your main challenge as a new user of One Pager is to figure out what all of these settings do. How long that takes will largely depend on how brave you are as a user. Remember that One Pager can't ever backwards populate anything into or corrupt your source file. So the worst thing that can happen in here is that you make an ugly chart where you can't get One Pager to do what you want. And that's something we can help you with or there's lots of self-help resources available on our support page. Once you've modified the settings in the PVP, make sure to click the Copy to Template button next to the Project View Properties button on the Home tab in order to save the settings you just modified back into a template that you can use later, so you never have to make those settings changes again. Check out our video for the introduction to the Project View Properties to get more detail on what settings are in each tab. After you've exhausted the capabilities available in the PVP, you might still have to make some one-off or group changes manually in the chart. For manual changes, one pager largely behaves like PowerPoint. You can grab and drag and drop just about everything in here for the purposes of movement or resizing. For movement, use a left click and hold. For resizing, select the element to see the handlebars appear. And then drag the handlebars with a left click and hold. The chart boundaries and column widths will not have handlebars, but those can also be dragged for resizing with a left click and hold and drag. Your text can also be modified manually in one pager. Although we always recommend your text be data driven, it can be overwritten in the chart with a double click. Double click on the following to overwrite the text. Task bars and milestones, the title of the chart, swim lane and text column headers, and swim lane and text column values. You may also use the formatting options on the Home tab to quickly change certain properties. Selecting a shape or swim lane will enable certain controls on the Home tab like label direction, font color, font size, alignment, etc. For fine tuning of formatting of the taskbar and milestone properties, select the shapes you want to modify using your control key and mouse or by using a lasso and then click the Format button. Once the Change Marker Properties dialog box opens, you'll see what you can change on the selected shapes in each tab. Bear in mind, though, that when you modify your shapes manually, you are asking them to depart from the settings in the Project View Properties. To get your shapes to conform to the PVP settings again, you will have to select them, open the Change Marker Properties dialog box using the Format button, and then choose the Use Format Default button for each tab where changes have been made. Please visit our other videos at onepager.com forward slash support, or send us a question at support at onepager.com and we'll be happy to assist you.